Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Africa Media. It's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Daryl Glover, and this man right beside me needs no introduction. How are you doing today, Obi? I'm good, thanks. And how are you, Doc? <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm super super excited, man. Simply because this is just a special day. You know, we've been working on this project known as Africa Media for a couple of years now, and um, right. this week is the week that we're actually going to launch this. Uh, platform and it's going to be a game changer for Africa. I'm I'm super excited. I mean, what are your thoughts, Obi? Doc, it's been two and a half years in the making. Uh, people wondering what's all of this thing about F I Africa Media, I Africa Media. People are in love with the name because it's a name that is powerful and it's connecting us as a IK professionals on the African continent. And so the fact that even today, as we're having this live chat. It's Africa Day today. It's International Africa Day. So I'm super excited <laughs> that we have this opportunity to be able to actually finally get an opportunity to launch iAfrica Media. Absolutely. Absolutely. And everyone that's wondering what is Africa Media, well, it's going to be the number one platform in Africa when it comes to eye care. And when we say eye care, that's everything. Optometry, ophthalmology, opticians, um, your, your commercial, your corporate everything underneath one umbrella so we can all communicate together and work together to create a better eye care industry in the world of Africa because we deserve it and we're going to have it and we're going to take ownership of it. No, definitely, Doc. You know, if you look at uh, from the eye care perspective, we have not really had a voice that connects us all uh, as the eye care professionals on the African continent. Yes, there are media companies there and there, but they will be limited to what happens in that particular company. And what I love about this platform that we have uh, developed is actually a gateway into eye care on the continent. And what I love about it as well is that it a lot of emerging talent is emerging as a result of this platform. Uh, leaders who are doing incredible work in other parts of the continent that perhaps there's no media company or media coverage in those parts of the continent are going to have an opportunity to now come on a global stage and show people all over the world how amazing and incredible IK is on the continent. You hit the nail on the head, Obi. I mean, we've had folks from Nigeria, South Africa, um, Ghana, Kenya. I mean, you name it, any country in Africa, we have someone a part of that country that's representing for us. And we're super excited to do work with them. And not only are they just contributing uh, articles, but there's going to be live streams, interviews. We're going to be talking about business. We're going to be talking about ocular uh, issues, whether it's anterior segment, posterior segment. This is going to be a great resource for everyone in Africa that's an eye care professional. I mean, definitely. Just to give you an example, Doc, uh, we did a podcast not so long ago with uh, Dr. Kuateo in Ghana, who, who works closely with the vitro retinal uh, surgeon and he specializes in advanced eye care in Ghana. We were having a conversation re recently where we did a full podcast with Dr. Ogengo in Kenya. So the amount of leaders that we have been exposed to as a result of this incredible platform is incredible, you know. And what I love about iAfrica Media is that we're all learning about the different uh, aspects of eye care in different parts of the continent. Yeah. So yeah. we are all at different phases on the continent. So where South Africa is at, perhaps it's different from where Zimbabwe is at, from where Namibia is at. And so I love this platform because we're getting to have a voice for the first time ever in IK. This is incredible, Doc. It's incredible. And it's the power of, you know, social media, right? How do we meet? Social media. And exactly. I love what you were doing. You love what I was doing. We came together and we we're like, you know what? There's a problem in Africa and we're not united, we're not connected. Let's use social media, let's use uh, the power of the digital forces out there and come together and unite and build something big. I had an amazing podcast as well with someone in Nigeria, uh, Dr. Emacy, and she was just talking about how to open up a private practice code in Nigeria. And just the mindset, the things that you have to think of from just road conditions to the demographics to where you can source your materials and your products from, I mean, it's just, priceless the type of information that she gave and there's a lot of other leaders in Nigeria that we're going to bring that to as well definitely definitely it's the diversity of information and what I love about this platform is that um, a lot of the times people were just focused on eye care from an optometrist point of view 
The great thing about this platform is that the different components of eye care as a whole are being covered through eye Africa media. You've got your ophthalmologist, your optical, op ophthalmic assistants, uh, op dispensers, everyone coming together to learn from one another. And I, I love the fact that we are using technology or digital media to be able to showcase what is happening in eye care on the African continent. And so it's, I'm excited and people should expect a lot of great things coming out. Uh, young people actually are the ones that I'm excited about because they bring a different flavor to, to eye care. They, they bring a different perspective to yeah. how eye care is, is evolving. And so I'm excited for all the people that are gonna be connecting with us on this platform. Absolutely. And the one thing I want everyone to know is that this is not the OB show. This is not the Daryl show. This I'm show is for you guys. This platform will be as big as you want to make it to be because all we're doing is creating a platform for you to give to the industry, whether it's an article, whether it's a video, whether it's some type of lecture, whether it's an event that's coming or taking place in the future. This is for you guys, not for us. We just want to make sure that we can help propel, uh, propel the profession in a better direction and unite, as Obi mentioned earlier. Definitely, Doc. You, you hit the nail uh, right on the head there because it's not only limited to the IK professionals, but all the organizations that are involved on the African continent, all the suppliers, all, all the uh, service providers, it's literally a gateway into eye care for us to literally make this profession the greatest on the African continent. And to actually show people all over the world within the eye care industry, what is taking place on the African continent. And so I'm excited. I mean, the other day we had a conversation with Dr. Van Staden from one of the academic institutions, uh, profiling what is how the impact of COVID-19 has affected the academic program at one of the inst institutions, uh, what the future of uh, optometric education looks like. So those are some of the things that I'm excited about, like you just said right now and alluded to, that it's not about you and I. It's no. literally about each and every single IK professional coming onto this platform and making this platform an incredible platform for all of us to have information, the latest research, what is happening in technological advancements, innovation that is taking place in IK. You're going to find that on this platform. Uh, the latest in terms of artificial intelligence, telemedicine, whatever that is affecting our industry, people are going to be fortunate enough to be hearing it live on our platform. And the advantage of this platform is that you'll be getting it from multiple perspectives. So what is happening in Burkina Faso, for example, will be different from what is happening in Algeria in terms right. of technological advancements pertaining to IK. So I'm super excited about this platform, Doc. Yeah. And the one other thing that I really love is that, you know, we have some great leaders out there that are ahead of these associations, such as, you know, uh, Dollars and uh, some other folks all throughout Africa. And I'm really happy that now we have a platform where these leaders of our organizations can actually disseminate information about what's going on in that country and so that the other leaders can see what's going on and we can work together to really uplift Af Africa when it comes to eye care because we have to utilize our resources and our resources are each other. That's how we're going to make each other great and that's how we're going to grow this profession. And to go back to something that you touched on, we will shine. The whole world will hear us. This platform is a great platform for folks to really put out great content and not just become a star in your local region or your local country or your local continent, but the world. There's a lot of great opportunity out here to grow as a professional and to also help uplift our profession in Africa to grow to be better. Definitely, Doc. And I mean, if you look at right now, the entire world has been greatly affected by COVID-19, right? Yeah. And so how we have always been doing things as companies, suppliers, from a media point of view, is going to definitely be changing. And this platform, it's, creates, it's creating an opportunity for various stakeholders and role players in the industry to come on board and utilize this platform as a gateway to reach their targeted audience. So I'm excited about that because it's not business as usual anymore. Yeah. Uh, and this platform is at the forefront of new innovation, new ways of communication, new ways of delivering value to our millions of patients all over the continent. And this platform creates that opportunity for various stakeholders to literally come on board and take eye care to the next level altogether. 
Amen. You're preaching to the choir, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, for anyone that wants to hang out with us or if they want to contribute to this platform that's made for Africa, all you have to do is email us at africamedia at gmail.com. That's E-Y-E-F-R-I-C-A media at gmail.com. And myself or OB will answer that email as quickly as possible and make sure that we answer any question that you may have. And that also goes for anyone that um, is a part of a corporation and you want to, you know, get your message out or educate. Um, same thing with anyone in academia. Let us know. We are here to grow this profession and we cannot do it without you guys. And we're just so grateful to be a part of such a great profession with so many different minds that we can bring together and create something strong and powerful. Definitely, definitely. And uh, I mean, Doc, on the same note, let's connect on social media. We are on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter. Connect with us as iAfrica Media and we're sharing some great content on those platforms. As you all know, just to, we don't want to make it about us, but one of the things that has put us individually on the global eye care uh, space has been content. And we decided that let us use those skills that we have developed over the years in the industry and bring that content onto this platform and so connect with us as you're going to find a whole lot of resources on different social media platforms that we are on and our website is launching this coming friday we have started the, the countdown uh, today is day four and <laughs> i'm excited that as we launch the website it's going to be a website like no other uh, media company pertaining to ik on the african continent and that's www.iafricamedia.com Absolutely. 100. Well, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us. You know, this will be repurposed. You will see it on the website when it launches Friday. If you have any questions about what is Africa Media, you'll be able to see it. Um, OB, man, you're you're just amazing. I, I, I can't, words can't even describe how thankful I am to have met you and to be able to really work on this project with you over the last couple of years. It's been very difficult trying to keep it quiet even though we have over a thousand people in the Facebook group, like you mentioned before, they're like, what is Africa media? What's going to go? It's just a bunch of black yeah, yeah. people. Well, now you guys have seen what we have been working on and we're going to take it to the next level. And we will, and mark my word, we will make Africa great and a leader when it comes to eye care. And we will shine just like every other uh, continent out there, every other profession out there. We will do the best job we can. Africa media is the number one, I care platform in Africa. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's been an awesome pleasure, Doc, being able to do the work that we and I have been doing together. And, you know, one of the things that I hold dear more than anything else is that we need to be raising up other leaders, lift as we rise. So this platform, I can't wait for the next generation of I care leaders, I care professionals that are going to be birthed through this platform and do amazing things on a global stage. So Man, I'm excited, Buck. That's great insight. I, I love that too. I can't wait to see because it's like, you know, we're, we're getting older now, right? <laughs> so it's like, you got to pass the baton, right? Like, here you go. Definitely, Run definitely. with it, you know? So I understand <laughs> 100%. Well, it's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Daryl Glover. And of course, your optometrist with the biggest smile in optometry all over the world, Obi Malu, <laughs> all the way from South Africa. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, you guys stay tuned again. Follow us on all social media platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Africa Media. Hit up the website this Friday, www.africamedia.com and email us if you have any questions or if you want to contribute to the uh, platform. And that's africamedia at gmail.com. And uh, look forward to having some cool content. You guys have a great one. Happy Africa Day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>